Just say thank you, huh? Oh, man. Just say first game, huh? First debut. Uh, it felt good just to be out there. Um, Especially with the guys, you know, I haven't been been able to practice with them or anything. You know, just trying to um, keep their spirits up, and, um, just be like a, a kind of like a hype man with them. So it was good. <laughs> it was good to be out there with them, and um, I'm glad we got the win. How's it like? Oh, it's good right now, but uh, you know, it's a day to day process. Um, you know, it could be real sore tomorrow. And luckily, we have a day off, and hopefully, I can go Wednesday. But um, I definitely wanted to give it a go and just get out there, and just you know, prove something to the coaches and, and and my teammates. Did you just wake up and know you were able to go today? Or? Well, you know, yesterday we had the, we had the floor for a little while, about yeah. two hours, and it went really hard in the, in the drills that we were doing, and it felt good. And it felt good this morning. It's 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 really not when I'm playing; it's the day after, or yeah, when I'm yeah. running; it's the day after. So we'll take it um, day by day, and hopefully, I'll be able to play Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you trying to prove here in summer league? You know, I'm just just being myself. Um, let's go out there and um, play the game of basketball the way I know how to. And um, you know, with the with the Suns organization, it's it's, it's kind of, it's just like Villanova. You know, the same principles, um, same kind of offense, and um, you know it. it you know, it's a little bit, uh, you know, heartwarming that, uh, you know, I've been in the system for four years and been able to be successful in it. So it's, it felt good to be out there. This is your bio. This is Scotty Reynolds Day. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my town is not too big. It's, you know, it's actually right next to Grant's town, um, Reston. It's like right on top of each other. So um, it's about 22,000, and a lot of people don't come from there or get out of there. So I'm happy to represent, you know, Northern Virginia, let alone Herndon, Virginia. And, you know, I, I went to the town council. They gave me this big plaque and um, took pictures and everything. So it meant a lot to me. It learned a lot to the town. And, you know, every time I step out there, I'm representing uh, that region. You heard your leg during a uh, pre Pre no, I, I actually heard it um, last Friday. I was working out with Alvin Williams and Kyle Lowry up at um, Villanova, and uh, initially it, it wasn't anything bad. And uh, took a day off, and it was a little sore, and it just kept getting worse and worse. And um, I actually was really scared. I actually tore something. I couldn't walk on it, put any pressure on it, let alone even drive. Um, so um, I was really scared about that. And um, I knew it was a great opportunity here. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get out there today. Why do you think your skill set fits the Suns so well? I mean, you just have to be a basketball player. You know, you, you can't just be a setup man. Or any, you got to be able to, to, you know, run, pick, and roll. Um, Scott, the game will leave you. Okay, Paul. Uh, we'll we'll, 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 we'll leave you. Um, you know, I like to get up and down, run, run a quick, fast pace um, style, and um, you know, you got to be able to shoot, be pick and rolls, and um, just be out there and, and be confident. I was able to do that tonight. Real quick, Scotty, your chances of making the team, where do, you, where do you think that is right now? I don't know. I mean, you have to ask some, you know, the people making those decisions. But, you know, my that's that's not my, that's not my job. You know? I, I just have to go out there and, and play the way I'm capable of playing, and um, hopefully that's good enough. Thanks. So I didn't know uh, Scotty was expected to play this week. You got him back in the shape. Uh, I didn't know. He just came in today. Said he wanted to give it a try. And uh, I'm glad he did. He brings a lot of spark, pushing the ball. Uh, he was competitive. So it was good to see. I mean, got the free throw line. And uh, glad he could play. I mean, he's been wanting to play all week. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you don't want to push him and get him hurt. But he's glad he's able to go out there and play. And hopefully he can, uh, he, hopefully he can uh, bounce back and play the next game too. How do you think the offense was smoother with him out there? Well, I just think, you know, I think everybody did a better job. We, we, had, we, had, we had two practices. Uh, this is all kind of new stuff for these guys. And, uh, I think you know, the more they play together, the better they're going to start playing. So I think he definitely helped. But I think overall, you know, everybody was more comfortable. Earl was better. Uh, Donnie was running the floor well. Our big guys came in. Sean played real well. So uh, you know, I think it was just a matter of guys getting to know each other a little bit better. What did you like most about Scotty's game? Uh, just his energy. He said he pushed the ball really aggressive defensively. He was good. So um, you know, it just gives you a guy that can really push, get in the paint, and make everybody else better. better. How, do you, how do you think his skill set translates to the NBA game, Scotty? Um, you know, this is kind of a uh, point guard driven league right now. And if you have a good point guard, that really helps. And a guy like that. Uh, you know, he's got to improve his shot, but a guy like that who can make plays for other people, uh, he's surrounded with some good players and uh, you know, be a good asset to anybody's team. Do you think Earl looked a little more comfortable today? Yeah, you know, Earl struggled a little bit, but uh, you know, 
he got his legs under him a little bit more and uh, you know, started playing his kind of game. You know, I think he was pushing the first couple games, more looking for a shot and uh, not trying to make anybody better. But th today, I think he played more, more within, within himself and uh, played a lot better. You got any triple double? Got to be yeah, happy. you know, Gani's in there. You know, some of those calls would be tough. You know, he's trying to play so hard and he's very physical. Uh, I don't know how many illegal screens he got, but that's okay. That means he's out there trying to uh, you know, do the right thing and he's still trying to learn the system and, and how to play. But uh, I'm impressed with the, the way he wants to learn and what he does up there. Just pushing the tempo and emphasis today, he might play a lot faster. Yeah, well, you know, when you get Scotty in there. He's going to push the tempo. And that's, that's that's the big thing. And then I thought he did a good job of that too. But you know, in this situation, we want to get out and run and play the way we do in the regular season. And that's to uh, you know look at the you know, shots early. They're good shots, and you know, try to stay out of set plays as much as possible. And just get out there and run. How about Matt Janning? Thoughts on him? Just I love in general. Matt. I think he's great. I mean, uh, can really shoot it. Uh, he's athletic. Uh, the thing I like about him more than anything is he knows how to play. He's very. Uh, he's got a big uh, you know basketball IQ. Um, Understands what you know we're looking for, and you know he's a hell of a player. I like him a lot. Do you think he's strong enough to defend the two at the NBA level? Yeah, I mean he's got to get stronger. But you know, you guys, look, you know, I look at a guy like Jeff Hornacek, who played two. You know, he's got the same kind of body. Uh, but you know what he lacks physically, as far as the strength, he can make up for. Um, but he knows you know how to play, and that makes a big difference. Asking me every question in the book. You know, I was like, you know, I call one play was a high pick and roll. You want to know which side? It's the high pick and roll. It's in the middle of the floor. It really is on the side. And he really couldn't seem to grasp that very much. So I asked him if he graduated. But he was he was funny. I mean, I think he was just trying to get everybody involved. And uh, he's a good kid. He works hard. And he's glad he can able to play. But uh, he'll definitely wear you out with these questions. He's really vocal out there. He is. He likes to talk. And I think that's good because he brings energy to the guys. He keeps everybody in the game. And uh, when your point guard is that vocal and it's pushing the ball and uh, it's exciting, it's, uh, it's fun for everybody to play with him.